Welcome to Inside Science TV. Under the sea. You've seen Under it in The, the Little sea. Mermaid. But did you know sea creatures really do talk to each other? That was a spiny lobster. And that was a mantis shrimp. These sounds are what PhD student Erica Statterman has dedicated her academic career to understanding. There's a whole world of animal sound in the ocean that people really don't know about. She is studying how baby fish, or larvae, find their way to a reef to survive. Statterman believes it's the sound the reef gives off that attracts the small fish. She measures the sounds to determine if there are changes over periods of time. For example, it tends to be louder during the new moon period and quieter during the full moon. If the larvae do use sound as a cue, background noise from ships or gas and oil exploration could be interfering with that process, affecting fish survival. I think it's just such an untold issue and such a, it's a conservation problem that nobody's really thinking about. The loud noises, along with overfishing, plastic pollution, and climate change, could be having a serious impact. Cumulative stressors that make these animals really stressed out and can really affect their lifestyle and their survival. She hopes the research will help these animals communicate better and survive. I'm Josh Lebowitz, reporting. Inside Science TV. If you enjoyed this edition, follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube. Powered by the American Institute of Physics and a coalition of underwriters.